Good evening, this is Jeff Vasile, I'm the NSN Twitter, you can find it at the blog FibonaciStalking.com I also post regularly on Twitter using the Adfib Stalker nickname. Good evening, today is Sunday, uh, February the 10th, 2013, it's 9pm uh, Italian time and um, this video is part of my weekly newsletter I'm going to send out in a couple of hours and um, this video particularly is the Fib Stalker review on currencies. In this video I review four major uh, forex pairs and giving you a read of um, what happened to price and what we could see, especially what we could see next week. So uh, I cover the US dollar versus Japanese yen, the pound versus the US dollar, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar and the uh, Australian dollar versus the US dollar. So let's start quickly. In this uh, video I first I uh, review the weekly chart and then I move into t into the daily chart to see uh, the current setup or the setup that could be um, could be playing uh, next week so what you see on the screen is the weekly chart of the US dollar versus Japanese yen and as you can see this is a this is a tear here I mean this is mm, this is uh, something unbelievable we are seeing because uh, the Japanese um, central bank is actually devaluing uh, devaluing the uh, the yen at uh, an incredible speed and even um, quicker than what the uh, Americans uh, are doing with their um, uh, con uh, quantitative easing, inf infinite uh, uh, quantitative easing, which is uh, basically uh, buying back um, 40, 40 billion worth of uh, debt and um, uh, asset, asset, toxic assets um, from the banks. So um, uh, the, the 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 important thing is that when we get this kind of emotional move, or uh, which are driven by by uh, by the central banks, there's not really a lot we can do. On the weekly chart, we can identify this level of support, so we can say if price gets back to. 89 80 area or uh, even a little bit lower into the uh, this 80 89 20 then we can visibly uh, think we can we could find support there uh, anyway this kind of move also have the tendency to uh, come back uh, with the same speed so I think it's uh, it's it's a very it's a very filthy business here to try to uh, time this uh, Japanese yen. There is no need because there are a lot of um, other pairs you can uh, you can play. So I wouldn't risk my I wouldn't risk my money in in, in this pair at the moment. There's no need to do that. Uh, I I understand there are some people who are focusing on the Japanese yen and uh, specifically on the on this pair, but um, uh, it's better to uh, to wait and uh, and see what the price is going to do. On the daily chart, I can. Um, I can show you uh, the the current level of support, and this level of support is uh, is an extension. This extension is uh, is trading from the um, from this um, uh, with an anchor at this level, the ninety uh, the ninety thirty area, and um, as you can see, this ninety two fourteen uh, actually played uh, to the pip. So this is a valid support area. And uh, what is going to bring price? Uh, the first target is going to be this 94, um, 94, uh, 90 area here, 94, 80 area. So, should price come back again uh, at the beginning of the week? Uh, in, I, I anticipate a continuation in the, wind, the dollar weakness, so we can actually pick this up. Uh, uh, you can actually pick this up uh, if price comes back with a stop below 91.60 here and the target 94.93. Going to the pound versus the US dollar, uh, you will remember that uh, the, uh, you, the pound compared to the dollar at the moment is, um, is in a wedge um, and we have this level of resistance 64.20 that was a little bit sloppy here in 2009 and through 2011 but as you can see here uh, it's now clearly acting as a resistance so this um, uh, this uh, level of resistance, resistance has targets uh, uh, below price all the way to 117, 120, I believe, of for pounds uh, on the dollar. So that's where we, that's where in the long term we could see, 
we could see uh, the um, we could see this um, this pair uh, moving to and uh, we also have on the other side on the weekly uh, uh, chart we also have uh, a level of support so it's not it's not this one sorry uh, the level of support is traced from it, tra it, it is traced from lows to um, highs here and as you can see this level has been supported price in uh, 2012 at the very beginning and then middle of 2012 but at the moment i wouldn't trust this uh, i'm not sure i want to trust this level first of all we have to expect now uh, this 152.80 to be retested here before or after this is going to happen and um, the main reason i say this is because the um uh, the um the main support level we had in the 157 uh, 80 area failed and you can trace this um, well, how you want but uh, it's going to give you the same the same the same um, the same information this 156 uh, 60 level was a piece on the downside so after a retracement if we get a retracement uh, we have to uh, anticipate and that's what I'm doing I'm going to do we have to anticipate price moving back into this 152.80 area so the maximum the maximum retrace i can see uh, i can see it in the 159 area at the moment so let's move to the daily chart on the daily chart we can see that we can see that um, we had uh, some sloppy resistance last week and um, but this resistance is kicking now again in the 158.34 uh, so that's what we can consider as a resistance here and this has two targets in the 156 the first target and the second time is going to be the 154.80 and if we get gold dollar strength continued dollar strength as we're seeing at the moment i think this is possible this target is possible also these two targets are possible also during the week so let's move uh, to the canadian dollar the canadian dollar versus the us the us dollar versus the canadian dollar we know it's in a bearish uh, it has a bearish setup and it has this um, resistance in the 10570 the area but uh, there are some uh, developments here i mean we I've been looking at this uh, continuation uh, uh, on the short side this this uh, level was not tested just yet but there was another level short level that was tested and this is the end is traced from the uh, this relative uh, highs to lows and uh, this level like there's a resistance at the one 0040 here and uh, it acted as resistance, resistance again two weeks ago but uh, as we can see longs are in control uh, in this time frame and it's very clear here because um, we can actually see that uh, choosing from low to highs there was a support of price in the uh, 98 uh, 40 area and again uh, last week uh, price was uh, sustained and supported in the uh, 99 60 area uh, with price never uh, moving below this 99 uh, 20 99 10 so that's what we are going to see and the situation on the daily it's even clearer here so we need to play this pair on the long side and the reason we have to do that is because we have on the weekly time frame we have this support in the 0.9850 uh, we um, since we had this um, since we had this trace on the uh, short side as well we don't know who was winning this battle i mean this has been a this has been a sideways action now for months and uh, the bears have been um, um, successfully selling this uh, 10040 uh, level and then uh, the 09850 area was bought twice here and um, but again we saw this uh, move lower starting from this resistance level so uh, what we can um, what I can um, say here is that now we have a, a target from the largest weekly set up here in this uh, 10150 uh, uh, area and this is above this area of resistance so breaking that we would actually go back to previous size here here into 10440 so that's what we have to keep in mind on a shorter uh, daily time frame we also have this um, 
this long here and uh, this long has a target in the 10160 area so it lines up with this other weekly larger weekly area. so that's what we are going to um, what we are going to target for uh, the next week and if you have still the opportunity to enter uh, maybe on a retracement likely if that retracement is given um, we don't know that you can actually put a stop below the uh, 09920 level finally the Australian dollar versus the US dollar is, is this in, in is in this uh, huge uh, bull flag here um, and uh, actually the support on the weekly uh, sorry this is the daily the support on the weekly chart it's traced from these lows in 2010 to highs and we can see it in this uh, 095.70 area on the daily chart uh, it's very important we have um, we have a support and this support is an extension that uh, offered um, a support to price uh, back in uh, September and then uh, October and again <coughs> sorry we are seeing uh, a strength in the dollar here which is pushing this pair lower and I think a retest of the uh, 10170 uh, the area it's now very possible and actually I think it's already ongoing and um, we had this uh, we had this uh, measure move here uh, which are um, which are actually uh, uh, we, 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 which were not um, um, which were not uh, trading uh, uh, here uh, in a very ordered way we could make the case that uh, it was actually a uh, an extension here trading with a resistance in the 104 for the area breaking price first uh, in the first target 103 20 and then um, uh, 102 uh, 102 60 here the second target and it seems we are getting a we are getting uh, a, a bounce here now it's possible that we come back to test this um, it was very it's very close actually one um, 357 we might or might not test this level again if we do uh, this is the this is the setup we have to keep in mind bringing price right back into that um, that area and actually the first target would be the 102 uh, 10 area and the second target would be the 101 for the area here so that's what we can expect uh, we can expect from this pair now i hope this uh, video is useful again um, a lot of there is a lot of uh, hype a lot of um, people following the japanese yen uh, a lot of people saying that it all depends on what the yen is doing i think we have to trade every pair based on the setup uh, the pair is giving uh, uh, things can change quickly in this Japanese yen, so be, be very careful here. But as we saw, there are very good setups on the other major uh, forex pairs as well. If you want to see the previous uh, videos, um, weekly videos on uh, of my view, uh, sort of view on currencies, you can go on the forex page you find uh, a lot of links there to trading plans uh, as well for uh, single uh, pairs and we'll also i'll also cover their other pairs uh, and not only those for the major pairs that are present in this video and um, uh, you can see the previous videos if you want to receive this information timely just go to my to, the, to my website you can um, subscribe on the home page there is an icon you click on that to register for free for the newsletter it only takes 10 seconds and uh, you can get all the information for free so i thank you very much for your attention i wish you a very good evening and a great trading uh, week next uh, week and i look forward to see you on my blog and send me your comments uh, i'm also on for fact forex factory and uh, we can uh, we can have a chat there thank you very much again and uh, bye bye